thank you guys for watching. Tovo Auto Programmer, appreciate your time for tuning in. And today we're doing a quick video on how to download and install FC200 SDGDI on your PC. All right, so you want to go to your PC or your desktop and go to your web browser whatever browser you're on, whether it's uh, Microsoft Edge or Google. In our case, we're using Google. So now we want to look for uh, cgdi.com. You can just put cgdi, and then it will populate its website, which mine goes directly to it. So on your case, you will look for the cgdi shop. Once you find the CGDI shop, you will make an account. Make your account. Once you've created your account, then you can go ahead and uh, sign in. Once you've signed in, you can go ahead and go to software download. And as you can see, this is the software downloads they have for the CG products. And today we're doing the FC200. So you go ahead and scroll down until you find the CG FC 200. Go ahead and click download here. It's going to take you to mega downloads. So you can go ahead and select the tool that you're working with. Which today we're doing the FC 200. Sorry for the um, quality of the video. Okay, so you double click on it and you open it and you want to get the latest build. Once you download the latest build, it'll prompt you that it's downloading to your downloads folder on your PC or desktop, which is usually the C folder. Or your default folder so once it downloads you can locate it on the on the Chrome downloads and it's here FC builder in some case in some cases you have to give your computer permission to uh, download it so we're gonna go to the file location So the download would appear on today's date and it will appear as FC 200. Go ahead and right click on it. And as you can see, I'm clicking on the earlier version, so we'll cancel that. And we'll go to the V1.2.3.0 build EXE instead of the one that I just clicked on. So we'll cancel that and I will go into the later build. So I right click on it and then you run it as administrator. And also, depending on the security settings of your computer, um, it'll allow you to run it automatically, or in some cases, you have to give your computer permission. So this, we're gonna allow it to run. So it's running it automatically. Um, the first time I tried to run it, it asked me for permission. Um, I downloaded a couple times and I was like, why isn't it popping up? But I had to go directly into to the downloads and uh, open it up and grant it permission in order to download. So then you go go ahead and follow the directions, select your language, accept the EULA. So 
scroll down on it in case it doesn't allow you to press next the download to the C file sorry I can't really read it but uh, it'll download to uh, whatever file it's indicating to you or folder so once you uh, download it, your your selected destination it asks if you it means install, asking me if I want to install it again because it's already on my folder. So once you follow the prompts, as you would be doing yourself, so I'm following them even though I already have it installed. Once again, it's letting you know the destination of the folder so you can find it and it automatically creates a shortcut for you. So once you hit install, then the program will appear on your desktop so we'll hit install now so once it uh, downloads all the files for you you can go to your uh, Your desktop screen and SC200 should pop up somewhere, something like this. So, once you have the FC200 on your um, desktop install, you can go ahead and connect the device and launch the program. So, let's double click. We'll give it permission. So the device is not connected. Let me connect the device. All right, so we have the device hooked up via USB. USB on the laptop. And we'll be continuing to launch the program to make sure it's successfully installed. Right click on it this time, run as administrator. I find it'll work out fine both ways, but always best to run it as administrator. So every time you launch it, it's gonna remind you of your um, license subscription. So, and this is how you install the program. And I will be doing another video on different ECUs, DMEs, for different vehicles. Hope you guys like this video and we'll be doing another video soon on another type of vehicle control module cloning. So that's how you download them. Thank you guys for watching Tobo Auto Programming. Appreciate your time. Any questions? Any comments? Any recommendations on videos you guys would like to see on control module programming or cloning? Make a request.